Hey everybody, John Hines here. And I wanted to talk about realistic challenging of yourself. The other day I made a post about doing that which scares you a little bit. And some people think it literally means like scares the crap out of you like jumping off a hundred foot cliff or something like that. I'm not, I'm not meaning that at all. I'm meaning something that you're like, ooh, this is gonna be intense, okay? So the other day, as I've mentioned to you before, I work out by myself most of the time. I'm here in Wisconsin. All my bar brothers, all the barbarian guys and stuff like that are out in Brooklyn and New York and stuff. And so the only way that I can train with them is by watching them on videos. And so you can gain a lot of inspiration like that. It's always best if you can train with somebody in person or nowadays if you can train with somebody via Zoom classes like we do at Monkey Bar Gym. So, but when you're like what in, in any situation, like I always strive to bump myself up the ladder. So, Zeph is a guy that I always look up to as far as just a badass dude on the bars. He's incredible. And so I, I always like to see what he's doing. And the other day, him and about four or five other really badass guys in New York did this every minute on a minute workout for 10 minutes with the goal of getting goal of getting 10 pull-ups and 20 push-ups at the start of each minute and doing it unbroken for 10 minutes. Now, now I, I don't know if anybody besides Zeph and one other guy finished it unbroken. Some guys might have dropped for a split second, but a lot of the guys just kept it going unbroken along with Zeph. And this is really high level. So how do you take something like this and ratchet it so that it challenges you similar to how that workout challenged those guys? So what I always do is I always look at numbers and I put percentages in. So I know Zeph and I know he can do 60 pull-ups. And the other guys there, I know they can do, all of them could do at least 30 pull-ups in a set. So a minimum of 10 pull-ups for them is like about 30, 33%. For Zeph, it's like 15%. It's very easy for him. On the push-ups, it's the same. Most of those guys can probably do anywhere between 60 and 100 push-ups in one set. So what I do is I look at the numbers and then I say, okay, how, what would be an appropriate, appropriate challenge for me? Right now I'm at 21 pull-ups and about 55 push-ups. Unbroken, no pausing. So for me, I ratcheted them dumb down to about 33%. So that came in the range of about six and 12. Six pull-ups, 12 push-ups on the minute, every minute for 10 minutes. Worked perfect. I went a little fast at first. I did seven and 14 for the first five minutes. That was super brutal. And I started crashing, so then I went 5'10 the rest of the way for the last five minutes. I ended up with 6'12, which were my original numbers that I was thinking about doing for this workout. So now I have a baseline. So now I've done 6'12 in this workout. Next time, my goal is to bump it up by about 10%. 10% of 60 is 66. 10% of 120 reps, which is what I did today in that 10 minutes, is about 132 reps. So that means 13 reps a set on the push-ups and about sets of six, seven, six, seven on my pull-ups. That way I can get some momentum and I can get some confidence towards my eventual goal of getting 10 pull-ups and 20 push-ups at every minute on the minute for 10 minutes unbroken. That is my goal and that is how I challenge people accordingly at their level so that you can do any workout. You just got to figure out and know how to ratchet it properly for your level. And that's one of the things that we do at Monkey Bar Gym. We have people at all different levels and we, we know because we've been doing this. I've been a strength coach 45 years. I know how to pick the right level for you so that you're challenged accordingly so that you can get that momentum because that's the thing that sometimes when people do really high level workouts they get crushed and it's too overwhelming and they don't uh then they feel like well i can't do this it's all in how you progress it and how you start so if you 
have a good understanding of where you should start at, you can get some momentum and then the sky's the limit. All right. I hope this helps and inspires some of you guys out there. And, and if you think it can help somebody else out, share it with them. Because all I'm trying to do is help people, make people and planet a better place to live. Peace.